Hello, everybody. Uh, so today we're going to talk about uh, gap downs and uh, rejections. I will start by uh, a little review of small caps, how to trade the gap down on small caps, and then we'll go over uh, big caps. Uh, so here is uh, uh, LMFA. You can see here an hourly chart. Uh, three minute chart and a one minute chart. So this is what happened the first day. Uh, basically, this three area was acting like a big resistance. We had soakers here on the ask. Each time popping up, it was stuff right away rejection of the three. Again, popping up at three rejection. Over on the three rejection. So this was a solid resistance where to start scaling in, uh, starting with your short. And then when the price finally um, uh, shift below uh, the 729 Fib Zima and start rejecting, we know that this was the end of the, of the, the day uh, where the longs will like trigger their stop loss sellers getting in and everything so I was looking for a gap down LMFA closed in this area uh, we had from the prior day this area 220 230 um, sorry 220 250 was the high volume area of uh, the first day Thursday and on the second day so yesterday Friday I was looking for a push into this area being that this was a pre-market or trading hours uh, to uh, having the majority of my shares uh, started here in the morning I saw this 225 going towards here a resistance uh, which was the first area where I would have scaled in short and I was looking this area to break and to have my ads here, basically risking this 250. So in the 230, 235, 240, this was my area where I wanted to have the majority of my shares. And then on the fall, I would have added. But in pre-market, I was looking at tape over here. And right away, we had this push to 25. Then coming here, uh, we had some big support, 217 to 18 and some big resistance formed. I saw like um, 20, 25K here at the 220. So I started like uh, shorting here. Uh, I got this trade on multiple accounts. And on this exactly here, this price right here, I got the majority of my shares. And I was looking for this for a wash pre-market, expecting then a push at open and an all-day fader. So basically, I got my shares over here, washed, uh, still kept all the shares. I was looking to add on another push now to this resistance area. Never came, so I never had my ads. Here pushed into the my one minute 729, rejected and uh, covered down here. Uh, so, you can see then the rest of the day, what basically did, another rejection from the 1 minute 739, another wash, reclaim and close above. So basically this is how I like to, to trade the gap downs on the, on the small caps. Today I wanna uh, show you, and this is a free trading lesson that I'm giving you guys. I want to show you, first of all, we'll go over uh, Big Caps, Netflix. So here on the left, you can see basically the last month, here we are on the 28th of December, so end of December. Basically using always my uh, exponential moving average, you can always see how the stock held these two M over here being this the guide for front side and back side. 
So this is what I was looking on Friday. And all these days here, since we had this push, I was looking to short. Uh, guys in the room, the small cap room, know that I was looking at uh, 330, 320, and 300 uh, strike puts of uh, expiring um, January 18. So pretty cheap out on the money since uh, Friday. And I was looking basically for the test and breakdown of this uh, area here because this is acting like support. So the last trade that uh, me and Mama Bear took was a huge home run from this area here, 315 um, in November, holding for November and December, and we close over here. This was almost a $100,000 trade using different strikes and options. And uh, multiple um, expirations. So we took some um, December and January. Basically, we were like collecting on the way down, re adding on the pops, always adding this trend line all the way down. And we were looking at this 247, which, were, which was our target, went even below, for a big daily support. So now it's basically the same setup I'm looking here on Netflix uh, in uh, in January so we've seen that the price held okay uh, this resistance here in the 260 area and never been able to close above here using a one-hour chart so started rejecting over here started rejecting over here tried on Friday to push but couldn't even get to this 360 area and right away rejected and it slammed more than one time here on this support in the 340 and remember these two Emma once they will crack and reject this will be the end of Netflix so you see over here guys here basically started breaking up and started bouncing two times, giving a big, long signal. I didn't trade this long. Um, probably just missed it. And I love to swing, uh, to swing uh, calls here, uh, mainly on Netflix. And this was like more than a 2,000 uh, percentage of profit using calls. Surely much more than that. But here I'm looking for the same thing. So Friday, you can see over here, we're going to look at this um, setup. Okay. So Friday we started 350 here, falling all the way down. Shifting here below three minutes and twenty nine, and then again above and below. So I started my short here uh, below this uh, seventy twenty nine, so pretty low. Only one third of my position. I bought some puts, uh, expiration end of January and some mid February. Uh, different strikes. And I'm basically trying to anticipate in this area over here the break and rejection of this one hour. So it's just like still a uh, feeler uh, swing with the uh, stocks and um, one tenth of my position using puts, only 10 contracts over here. Then I saw uh, the price going up or using this 350 area as my stop. Price starting to come down again and added more here, 343. So now I'm having on the uh, puts uh, another uh, 10 contracts and um, another third more. So I'm in with two thirds of my position in the stocks. Okay, short. So with an average 
of 342. <coughs> Sorry. What I'm looking here on Monday is to have possibly another push into the 342 area and then fall all the way down. So if I have that push and this holds, okay, this resistance over here also is the uh, 72 on the Harley holds, this will tell me that we don't have any more power to push. So if we don't have any kind of bullish news or PR on Monday, I'm looking this in the next week to fall. So this is what I'm looking on Netflix. I suggest you guys uh, to go over um, a video that I did. It's one hour long. It's, I think, one of the best videos you can ever look on uh, big caps and option strategy that you can ever find online. Uh, I tried to put like some good stuff inside, a very effective stuff. Um, I'm just explaining strategies, how I use them, uh, my real trading, and uh, I hope it's useful also for you. I want to show you now NVDA. Okay. So this is basically NVDA. The same reason. Uh, the same setup, the same guide that I explained you on Netflix, the same have been occurred here on the NVDA. So here we see how the price bounced one time, two times, and third time. Here exactly, uh, this was, I um, think, uh, yeah, Thursday morning. It was with some guys in the room. We were looking at this setup. Uh, price came down over here and held this support in 147 on this wash. And this is a strategy I explained just like uh, one week ago that you can find over here. Is the strategy of over, uh, sorry, under over. So basically, these are my two AMAs over here. And this is the price. Price opens and wash, pushes above, bounce from the 729 and push all the way up. So here price falls below 729, reclaims the 729, bounces and push all the way up. Giving you here, okay, exactly on the bounce and your stop just below the slow, so over here, giving the uh, possibility for a long. So remember this under over strategy. And if we look, okay, I'm gonna show you the same exact setup. Here is the eight. Let me see if I can find it again. Okay. So over here, basically price washes below 729 breaks above, okay, giving this V pattern, goes on this support and pushes all up. So if you want to trade long caps with the really, uh, big caps, sorry, with the really effective system, uh, knowing how to uh, use not only the system and some more stuff that I don't explain here on the free stuff that I share with everyone, just join the small cap room. It's called small caps, no, not only because I trade mainly small caps, because I trade also big caps, but for the fact that it's a small cap uh, room, because it's small, uh, not crowded room, not two, 300 people inside, just like a close team of buddies, traders, uh, that we work together, uh, we're trying to make, uh, to, make, to make good money and um, a very, very uh, good team. So getting back, NVDA. Okay.
the setup over here, sorry, two days ago, setup over here, made you get long on the also hourly support. And you can see from that moment, from here, uh, 148, 148 and 50, all the push and went almost to 150A, so 10 points on NVDA. So now let's look at Tesla. Okay. Tesla, I'm going to show you how to trade uh, gap downs. A lot of people uh, write me because uh, it's one of my uh, main uh, A-plus uh, setup. I always trade them, and um, Mama Bear as well. She traded net, uh, Tesla yesterday, uh, made 20K on this trade. Um, impressive. She loves swing, so she's still holding. Holding also puts... So here, gap down, and I show you here on this uh, example, how is a gap down form? So here's the first day, gap down, earning miss or bad news or whatever. And then I'm looking if I will have that push to the 7289 and a stop over there move. If I have that, then I start my short. And when this is working, I add two thirds to my short. And I generally like to uh, use this in combination with fibs, so fib retracements. So here we have the prior close and we put the low of pre market. So, what I'm basically looking for, I'm looking for this push. This is a setup I play on big caps more than 10 years and I explain the room how to trade this how to see other things together with the 739 but mainly here I'm looking for this fill push and when I see here started rejecting okay with a stop just above this prior high this year low the boat scenario mama beer went in 325 average almost 50, 50 contract puts, and she's holding all the way down. Uh, she wants actually 290. And if this will come up, this 310, 315 area will be hard trailing stop. So you can see how this 3 minutes and 39 held each stop all the way down. And you can see also in the 1 minute scenario how each pop on the 739 was a possibility to re-add and scale out, re-add and scale out. Example, Mama Beer uh, doesn't like to uh, trade intraday, these add and scales. She likes big position going in with 50, 100, 150 puts and just holding. So over here, we can see now the close just above 300. We will see on Monday how this will play. But basically, if now we will get the reclaim of this 310, maximum 315, that will be our uh, maximum trailing. So let's move on. SIG. So we're still talking about gap downs, okay? So display over here. I try to make a little bit of uh, uh, drawing over here. Um, and we can see basically a big gap from 33.5, low here of pre-market 26.30. And what I'm looking for, I'm looking basically for a fail push. So if you trace your FIBS uh, 100, uh, zero over here, the low of pre-market, uh, low. And then I'm basically looking to have my two MS with one of the FIBS area. And you can see over here, so I will make this bigger and try to explain the best I can. And for who doesn't know, I'm uh, half American. Uh, mom is from NY. She's from Brooklyn. 
that's from Detroit, but half Italian, so I have double citizenship. But I was always uh, majority of my time here in Italy. So uh, if I don't pronounce something good, <laughs> just don't get mad. And over here you can see the same pattern over and over. Now I explain on the one minute for the reason why that we have this resistance over here. We have the push trying to go break 739, trying to break this pre-market high. And I'm not one of those traders that wants to take short on the low break of this support. Because uh, many guys, they're showing trades tier one over here, then on the rejection tier two and tier three. Okay, you do that, you get fucked. So they show the examples that you short over here and then they go all the way down. Try to short an example that you short over here and then goes up and you get fucked all this pre-market trading range, okay? So it's not showing uh, to make just like a numbers on your views. Uh, it's just showing all the, the possible type of setup that occur. And I always like to short pops. Every day I short with some guys, um, mainly small caps or some big ones. I'm always shooting with uh, my friend Binder. Uh, you know I'm a trader on Fate. And one thing he always likes is always shorting the pop, even in a downtrend. You never short the weakness because that puts you in a very high risk scenario. If you short over here and your stop in this case has to be this pre market trading range, you're going to stop here one dollar and a half. If you short here the pop, once it goes up and then start rejecting, just as I explained over here, your stop is like 20, 30, 40 cents the most, just above this area over here. And then from there, guys, you can see how the trade worked. So you're short around 27, 27 and a half, all the way down here, 25 full round number. And this will have possibility to go more down uh, on Monday. More. TSM, so TSM at news, and I'm going to show you basically uh, the same setup that we looked over here uh, on NVDA and Netflix before, so you basically see, uh, we can make it like this, some bigger, so you can actually Look, many of you probably already understood. So we have basically this uh, wash in the morning, a second wash over here. So it's basically this area. And then here we have the reclaim, reclaim of this 7289, push above, this push above this high is here, okay? Over here. And then we have a wash to the 729, wash to 729 and when it starts pushing over here with a stop in this case not down here but just below this trading uh, support okay of the 729 this 35 35 and 10 this in the 3540 is your long what happens over here push bounce 729 push, bounce 729, push, all the way up. So this is how you make a home run trade. Another example, MTN. So gap down, I think this was also earning miss. You can see how it works. The one hour rejection over here all the way down, rejection all the way down, rejection all the way down. Here, uh, gaps above, push, down, rejection again, earnings. So what I'm basically looking again, I'm looking for the moment that I will have the first push into the 7289. 
Again, here you can see what does on the one. I trade my, uh, trace my fibs from the close to the pre-market low. So actually these were just a little bit uh, higher. And I'm looking for that place where I will have my fibs with my uh, EMA fibs. And here opens, starts pushing, and you can see uh, almost here, sorry. We can see here. <clears throat> Let me get it. Okay. Almost pushed to the 729, giving you an entry here over here, almost to the fibs, and all the way down. What happens in this trade? If you look over here, the second day, you start basically having a over, un, uh, sorry, under, over, bounce on the support, and here along. Day after, another uh, flush, and what happens? Push into the three minutes, 739, and flush. Again, over here, push into the 739 and flush. So you can basically look how each time that uh, let's make this over here. All right. You can basically look each time that this makes a push into the 739, how that area is also a fib level, and this pushes all the way down. Okay, guys, so hope uh, this helped you. Uh, clear ideas on gap down scenarios. Uh, we went over gap downs and under over for the long. Uh, hope this was useful. Uh, don't forget to like uh, YouTube page under uh, J Trader and my page uh, J Trader here, uh, small cap home. Thank you very much and have a good weekend.